Uh, hey guys, so MCP, Model Context Protocol, is all the buzz in the AI industry these days. And uh, let me talk a little bit about uh, MCP. Let's understand what is it and how does it work and why it is getting more popular these days, right? Uh, so MCP, the definition is, it's, it's an open source protocol, uh, basically initially developed by Anthropic. Uh, that standardizes how AI systems, uh, especially the large language models, uh, interact with external tools and data sources. You might say there is retrieval augmented generation to access the data, custom data. But you know, RAG will help you to a certain extent, but it can't help you with uh, gaining access to the external uh, tools. That's where RAG retrieval augmented generation fails in front of MCP. So the main purpose of MCP that is that it allows LLMs to access and utilize real-world data and applications beyond their initial training data, enabling more capable and very context-aware AI agents. You can basically build agentic AI applications and you can automate the whole process, right? So think of it as a universal remote or USB-C port you, uh, for your AI applications. You just connect you any tool or service that you want, data source you want, and you can start using it. So when it comes to MCP, Model Context Protocol, you need to understand some key components. Uh, one is uh, the host that we talk about, second one is the clients, and the third one is the servers. So hosts are AI-powered applications like Cloud Desktop, IDEs or chatbots, right? Um, where you basically interact, uh, that is your playground. And then clients is nothing but the modules within the host applications that manage the connections to servers, right? And then servers are actually what we're building, right? The, the wrappers around external tools or data sources, like you, know, you have GitHub server, uh, single store server, and many other servers, servers uh, exposing their capabilities to AI apps in a very standardized way, right? So how does MCP work? So when a user interacts with an MCP enabled AI application, the AI can utilize the protocol to access external information or trigger actions in other applications. For example, searching a database or creating a task in a project management tool or adding dummy data to your database or creating a notebook environment, something like that. So let us see how you can actually um, create a simple MCP server and interact with it, right? So let us see how single store MCP server basically works. Uh, so if you don't know what is single store, single store is a relational database and uh, uh, it supports uh, vector data and uh, hybrid search. And you can actually use single store for all your uh, RAG and AI applications as a vector database. Uh, so let's, uh, Let's understand how this uh, single store MCP server workflow basically works. So um, we have the MCP client that I'm going to use Cloud Desktop. I have already set up. And then using the natural language, we will talk to our client and we will connect our single store, um, single store. And uh, we will see some of the operations like executing SQL commands, creating um, uh, creating some uh, scheduled jobs, creating some notebooks, and uh, creating a snap snapshot, um, and uh, much more. So some of the database activities we will see. Hey guys, so as you can see, this is the GitHub repo of uh, Single Store MCP server, and all the steps are present here. Uh, as you can see, this uh, repository provides an installer and an MCP server for Single Store, enabling seamless uh, integration. So there are uh, these are the requirements that you need to have and uh, i have already cloud desktop um, ready uh, and then i have uvx installed and uh, the python also installed and this is the client setup uh, i'm using init command and there are other methods also if uh, also if you want to use uh, using smithery or manual configuration or using docker also you can build this mcp server so uh, let me use this uh, init command, right? Let's go to my VS code and let me run the init command. 
as you can see, as simple as that, setup complete, you can now use the MCP server with your LNM client. Amazing. So let me go to my, uh, my cloud desktop and then see if the single store MCP server has been enabled. Yeah, before that, uh, it will go to my single store account to get the authentication done. So I need to authenticate that. So if you don't have single store account, uh, go to singlestore.com. Uh, single store has a free shield here and single store will give you, once you sign up for the first time, it will give you some free credits. Go sign up and uh, authenticate. And uh, let's go back to our uh, cloud desktop. And let's see if our single store server has been, uh, has been attached. As you can see, here is the single store NCP server with all the, do all the tools enabled. So let me ask, um, hey, create a, create a database by the name, by the name test uh, in my workspace. Let us see. Yep, it'll take some time, maybe. Yeah. Yep. Sure, I'll help you create a database named test. So, uh, let's connect to your organization, find your available workspaces. It got the workspace name and it is creating a database by the name test. And uh, yeah, and perfect. Looks like there is a per permission restriction on your virtual workspace. Is it? Great, you have dedicated workspace group. Perfect. Now we create. Now let me create a database by the name test. It encountered some problems in between, but it is trying. Let us see. Excellent. The database test has been successfully created in your dedicated workspace, Pavis. Yeah. This is my, uh, Pavis is my workspace name. So it created perfect. Your test database has been successfully created and is now available in your workspace. Amazing. So let us uh, ask, hey, can you add some dummy data to my, um, my, what is the database name to my test database? Absolutely, I'll create some tables and then add some dummy data. That's what it is saying. So first let me switch to using the test database. Great. Now let me create some tables with the dummy data. As you can see the SQL query command that it is running, that it is using to run inside the database to create some dummy data. Amazing. It creates some employees table and uh, products table and adding some dummy data there. <laughs> Amazing. Even though we authenticated before our single store account, it is again asking us for the safety. Like, see, as you can see, review each action carefully before approval. It's creating some orders table. So inside that, it created some three tables as of now. Employees table, products table, orders table. Uh, it is coming up with uh, it is coming up with its own kind of table names and creating some dummy data. So let's see at the end what it creates. Perfect. Now let me uh, verify that all the data has been inserted correctly by showing you what's in each table. Amazing. Test ID. Excellent. I have successfully added dummy data to your test database. Here is what I created. It is also giving me the summary of what it has been created. And <laughs> that's amazing. Employees eight records, product 10 records, orders, Sample query you can try. Yeah, I can try the sample query. Amazing, amazing. Seriously, this is amazing. Uh, your test database is now ready for experimentation, learning SQL queries or testing applications. 
we can test these queries, run these and then test our queries. Thanks guys, I think uh, this is how uh, MCP servers basically work. You can basically automate a lot of things by creating your MCP servers, thanks. Uh, hey guys, so let us go to a single store account and actually see if the database and the dummy uh, data has been inserted into our database. Okay, let's check that. So let me go log in uh, to my single store account and we told our MCP server, single store MCP server to create a database. Let's go to deployment. I should see a database here connected to my workspace. That is the name was test. Yes, one check mark is done. The test database has been created. And the second thing we told our data, uh, MCP server to add some dummy data, right? So let's go test was the database. As you can see, employees, it created three tables. If you remember employees, orders, and products, let's go to any of them and see the sample data. Yes, the dummy data has been added. We can also go to employees, sample data. Amazing, the name, first name, last name, email, email ID, department, salary, and all those things. Amazing, so all the, the, the test database has been created and also the dummy data has been inserted. So it also told us at the end to add some, run these uh, queries, sample queries uh, we can try. Let me try the first one just to see, we've all employees by department, right? So let us do that. Let's go here. I think let me go to data studio, create a new SQL file. Uh, let, let it connect and let me select my database test because that's where all my dummy data is present. Let's run this and see. Oh, amazing. As you can see, right? Uh, department sales, employee count to uh, average salary is this much. HR, employee count this much, average salary. Amazing. So everything is perfect. That's how you can actually work with your MCP servers to automate a lot of things. I would highly encourage all of you to go to a uh, single store MCP server, GitHub repo. I'm going to share the link and try it out yourself to create a database, add dummy data and run some analytical queries, right? Thanks guys.